But let's talk a little bit about the digestive system. Like, how long is it, man? About 30 feet. Yeah, that's good long length. I mean, if you think about it, what, you're 6 feet, 5'9", 5'11", 5'10"? 5'10"-ish. Okay, so 5'10". But your entrails are 30 feet long. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, and the the one that nailed me was the... uh, Oh, I know what this is. Yeah, the small intestine surface area is the size of a tennis court. Yeah, so basically if you splayed your small intestine, and if you cut it it loose from Uh the rest of your bowels, splayed it, and unfolded it, because it's the folds that, that get you. If you've straightened it out, you could pretty much play tennis on it, and it'd be regulation size. That's nutty. You've got clay. Not table tennis. Grass. Yeah. Asphalt <laughs> and intestine. Wow. All right. So the cool thing about this article and the, the digestive system, period, yeah, is that there's a beginning and there's an end. Yeah. And... They used ham sandwich in the article, so let's go with that. Yeah, it makes sense. Like, uh, like basically, we're going to now follow what happens to a ham sandwich. The moment you, not even the moment you eat it, starting when you pick it up and bring it to your mouth, and it hits the area where your nose can smell it. And so begins the journey yeah. to your anus. So, <laughs> so we can do this one, man. I We've know. done way, way more um, tawdry, I potentially know, explosive topics than this, man. We can do this. I'm ashamed that I'm a grown man and I titter at that word. So, uh, you, as the sandwich comes to your to your mouth, mm-hmm. um, your nose smells that ham. Yeah. Right? And it sends a signal to the brain and says, it's chow time. Let's get this party started. And your brain sends a signal to your salivary glands in your mouth and they start pumping out saliva. Yeah, like when you say my mouth was watering when I smelled that, it's, yeah. that's exactly what's going on. That's exactly right. Um, now, I think my brain is overactive. You know how people are always like, it sounds like Josh is eating a piece of candy. Yeah. No, I'm just, I overproduce spit because I'm always hungry. And I can smell anything and be like, well, I could go for that right now. Well, not anything. But. <laughs> right. Um, so you've got your mouth watering, your saliva. And the reason you salivate is because it has uh, digestive proteins in it called, th- with like uh, amylase. Yes. And amylase is the reason you don't lick your lips. Did you know that? That's why your lips chap when you lick them too much, because you're actually oh, yeah? destroying the, the very thin, delicate skin of your lips with this protein that is designed to break down food. Boy, I, my lips are a mess. Always licking them, picking you, at you them. You can't do that, man. I know. Uh, so, yeah, Josh, it, the amylase gets to work immediately uh-huh. on the carbs and the bread. Yeah. Uh, when you swallow, it's going to go down your throat, your pharynx. Yeah, and we covered a lot of this in the sword swallowing episode. Yeah, so sure. if you want an even more in-depth uh, look at that, go listen to that one. Yeah, but it takes the same path because you don't want your sword going down into your lung. <laughs> oh. And you don't want bread going into your lung. So uh, thank you, Epiglottis. Yeah. This little, little flap yeah. that's going to guide it in the right direction. Almost all the time, unless there's a malfunction. Anytime you swallow, the epiglottis covers the trachea, leaving the esophagus to open up and accept your spit or your bolus. Remember, bolus Mm -hmm. is chewed food. Yes. So your sandwich is no longer considered sandwich. It's bolus now. That's right. And I actually choked last week on a sandwich. Like Mama Cass. I did. uh, And I uh, ended up (laughs) blowing it through my nose for the next 10 minutes. Is it even possible? It is. That's horrific. Something happened. I I choked and coughed, and it you know went. I guess entered my nasal passageway. Jeez. And I was literally blowing sandwich out of my nose. Ugh. It was not fun. Did it have mustard? No. Okay, you're lucky it didn't have mustard. <laughs> I don't do that mustard. would have burned. <laughs> For more on this and thousands of other topics, visit HowStuffWorks.com. 